My name is Jay Sanders. I'm from Melrose Enterprises. Melrose is a national exterior building and garage restoration contractor. We'd like to present to you this video case study of a comprehensive garage restoration. This project takes place in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the John Wanamaker Building. It is a national historic landmark. The Wanamaker Building was built by John Wanamaker in the early 1900s. It opened in 1911 as one of the first department stores in the United States. The building stands over 12 stories in height and its footprint takes up an entire city block. It has an impressive exterior facade, but it also has numerous details on the inside, such as the Bronze Eagle statue, its grand court, numerous architectural details to admire, and lastly, its famous organ that plays throughout the year. Currently, the Wonder Record Building is home to one of Macy's department store's Philadelphia locations, as well as Class AA office space. The building has numerous amenities for its tenants and its shoppers, one of them being a three-level, 660-space parking garage beneath the building. Like all parking garage structures, over time and with use, sealants and concrete deteriorate and fail. Faced with this, ownership and management turn to a leader in garage restoration engineering, O'Donnell Nakarada. Let's hear from their engineers about their role with this project. The Watermaker Building is a great building. Uh, it has a real historic significance to the city of Philadelphia. Um, we at O'Donnell Nakarada have had real, really the uh, privilege of working in that building for a lot of years and even myself throughout my whole career. We've been working on it for some maybe 100 projects within the building. One of those was back in 1988 when the owner asked us to help convert those unused basement areas into a parking garage to support the retail and the then newly converted offices on the, uh, on the floors above. The garage was opened in 1991. It has three stories, about 380,000 square feet, and it holds about 660 cars. Over time, hundreds of vehicles using the garage on a daily basis has added wear and tear to the parking decks. Since it's an interior space, the vehicles coming in bring in contaminants that melt on the deck and add corrosive damage to the parking deck membrane, which then occur in the concrete and continue. It's a cycle of repairs that need to be completed. Well, our initial involvement with the garage was we went out and did a full garage assessment of all three levels of the garage. We did chain dragging, we did visual observations, and we also did testing of the concrete. Uh, chain dragging of selected areas would allow us to determine spalls or delaminated concrete that we found throughout the garage. Our notes for out in the field were observed deteriorated concrete, deteriorated sealant work, deteriorated coatings, failed coatings that had pulled up from the concrete. We also observed some stuff overhead, some concrete that looked like it was coming loose from its substrate. Um, we also saw observed corroded deterioration of reinforcing steel. Um, so all of these we put together in a full report that we provided the owner. Essentially divided the garage into a third um, and working with Melrose, we laid out um, parking spots and directional traffic, the way we could accommodate the owner and the operator so that they can still maintain two thirds of the garage. For this restoration, we performed over 4,000 square feet of concrete repair and replacement, as well as 32,000 lineal feet of sealant replacement and 170,000 square feet of a new deck coating system. Both the removal of concrete debris and then the pumping of the concrete for the new sections of full depth concrete repairs required creative logistical plans to move the material in and out of the below grade garage. Due to the volume of vehicles this garage sees daily, we had to work closely with the parking management firm to ensure the traffic flow during the repairs and that we provided a plan to ensure minimal downtime of any parking spaces taken. Being in an enclosed garage, we had to eliminate issues of ventilation and airflow during the demolition and application of deck coatings. Safety being paramount, we had systems in place to ensure job site safety for both our crews working within the work zones and pedestrians outside the work zones. For the deck coating, Bill Reynolds from BASF can explain more about the deck coating system used in this project. Hi, I'm Bill Reynolds. I'm a manufacturer's rep for BASF Construction Chemicals in Shakopee, Minnesota. O'Donnell and Nacarado 
the engineer, specified the Master Seal Traffic 2500 deck coating system. This system consists of a two part primer, base, intermediate, and top coat. The reason this product was selected was this was an occupied underground garage. There were concerns about odor. There was concerns about a fast turnaround. Both of those were accomplished by using the BASF 2500 system. So this project was broken up into phases and each phase went well. The garage was turned back over to the owner quickly. Melrose did excellent work with the concrete repair and all the coating applications. I think if you look, you will see that this product has performed well, was applied excellently, and will last for years to come. This project was a success for a number of reasons. The project came in under budget, on schedule, zero job site accidents, and with a happy owner and repairs that will last for a number of years to come. If you're considering a garage restoration project at your facility, know that an experienced team can make a world of difference in handling problems that come up on the project. If you have any questions about this garage or garage restoration in general, please contact us. We'd be glad to help out.